Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a live stream preview of the game Book Bound Brigade on Nintendo Switch and, of course, PlayStation 4 and PC. It's available now, so definitely swing by and pick it up. But I'm ready to play this game. Thanks so much for coming. I was playing a little bit of it off screen, and shout outs to our friends over at Intra Games and Digital Tales for providing us a code so that we can play this game for you. Without further ado, I'm ready for it. If you guys are hyped for some Book Bound Brigade, on Nintendo Switch, be sure to smash the like button and do we have a book emote that we can spam in the chat? I don't know. But anyway, you guys are gonna like this. If you guys like platformers, if you guys like um, literary tales and history and stuff like that, you guys are gonna be right at home. Uh, it's kind of like, um, it's like a, a Metroidvania. If you guys have played like Metroid games where you're gonna be like moving across like 2D platforming, getting power-ups and revisiting old spots, you'll definitely be at home with this. So anyway, let's go and uh, hit this up. Yeah, those are book emotes, sure. Welcome. Welcome to the literary world. I'll let this guy do all the talking. The tome you see before you is the book of books. The epicenter of our scholarly macrocosm of bookish delights. Good old Bob, it beats like a heart, pulsating with all recorded words, making them manifest in the ever-expanding literary world. And nothing can ever change that. Hey! Hey, no, no something has changed that. Some little toe-rack has only gone and nicked the bleeding book of box. No. But it's no longer under the strict magical protection of the Librarium Infinitus. Its bookbinding is becoming untangled and unbound. Pages containing entries and facts are, are, are getting lost. If Bob is destroyed, the literary world will blink out of existence. Now, we need your help. Find these missing pages, find Bob, and save the literary world. To assist you, the Bookbound Brigade! Good luck. You bleeding well need it. Hmm, some tow rag has nicked the book. What is this? Is this British? Is this... <laughs> I don't think I've ever called anyone a tow rag before, but I'm going to start now. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the, that's, the, that's the story of the game. You are looking for Bob, which is like the book of all books, and it has like all the pages of history in it and stuff like that, and someone stole it. So we're gonna jump through uh, on Nintendo Switch and we're gonna do it, you little toe rags. <laughs> all right. Swordsman Moonlight says, this game is one of the reasons you got a Switch. Oh, that's really cool. I'm glad that you're uh, pumped up for this game. I, From what I've played, it's actually kind of fun. It's, yeah, I was surprisingly enjoying the writing, too. Like, the writing is really cool. So anyway, um, you've got these characters here, and they're very unique because they, they're, they like, on top of each other, and they do, like, different formations along the way. So uh, it's very interesting. So here's the narrator. And so the crusade to find Bob begins. Tut, uh, look at the once beautiful and peaceful literary world. Uh, these are the medieval shrines, uh, and your journey begins in the enchanted yarn tree woods. Death and destruction know this place. Let me tell you, I'm not cleaning this up. All right, so how many guys can recognize those five characters on screen? Can you guys recognize them? Let, I'll give you guys a second in the chat before we go over all their names and who they are. Anyway, so King Arthur, obviously spoilers, is one of them. I don't know what's worse, seeing a beautiful castle on file, fire or realizing it's your beautiful castle on fire. Uh, this unbound business is getting very, very serious. All right, Count Dracula, some of you guys said. And then I see Robin Hood, too. Yep, you're absolutely right. Okay, we have to get to work. There's some pretty nasty evil going on here, and we need to investigate. So Robin Hood's here. Can you guys name the other two? Right? There's like a small child, and there may or may not be a monkey on top of that small child. <laughs> Uh, indeed, Arthur. We might uh, might we enlist the help of your old wise old wizardry type friend Merlin. Uh, possibly, but he isn't wise anymore. He's totally unbound and about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Come on to the castle. All right, so here we go. All we have to do to move is press the left uh, stick in order to move, and then you could jump too by pressing the B button as well. All right, there's a lot of jumping to be done, so press the B button. All right, and then there we go. Cool. 
So there is indeed a monkey. It is the Monkey King. You are absolutely right. That is Sun Wukong, the Monkey King of literary tales. Legends speak of this monkey. He's the strongest thing imaginable, and he can change into 72 different forms of humanoid anything kind of creatures. Anyway, so this is a checkpoint. Uh, you guys can see over here, if you if you cross the checkpoint, you're going to get full health back, and you're going to get full energy back as well. So I'm kind of paraphrasing it, uh, but that's exactly what's going on. And I don't know if you guys realize, but that's Dorothy. Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. So we've got lots of people from literary... Uh, the literary weld, as uh, as what they said in the uh, intro. So right over here, this is the narrator is pretty much telling us that we've got a little attack. We can press the Y button and completely destroy these dudes, which is pretty great. So the main, <laughs> what we're going to be doing is just moving around, destroying people with the Y button, and then jumping around as best as we can in order to unlock different puzzles, collect different pages, and find this Bob. Okay, so now the literary world is a big place. Uh, before all this unbound business, it was uh, forever growing. If you get lost, use the in-game map. Press the minus button to see the map. And if you do that, you can see exactly the areas uh, that you've kind of been to. So that's pretty great. So I like it. It's uh, it's very, uh, very Metroid-y. I like it. In case you guys like that too, so. Anyway. Here we go. King Arthur says, hey, is that Joan of Arc? Isn't it? Uh, sorry, love. Didn't recognize... Uh, not, didn't recognize not on fire. LOL, said LOL out loud. Yeah, nice one, not hurtful at all. Listen, the Horde of Soldiers put up the rain, put the rain to flame. I tried to stop them by closing the wall gates, but my fear of fire got too much. I had a panic attack. Chondracula says, those soldiers look more like orcs. I'd stake my best fangs on it. They are orcs, nasty ones too, complete stinkers. We must get to the castle as soon as we can. Joan, how do we operate those gates? That you, f <laughs> that you miserably failed to do so. Wow. Uh, thanks for that, Arthur. Yeah. Uh, okay, you'll need to know how to manipulate an interactive object. You press the X button. Uh, thanks for the tip, Joan. You're on fire today. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh yeah, not tasteless at all. <laughs> so, of course, inside jokes. If you understand history, then you'll get a little bit more of a chortle out of it. If you don't really... Pay attention to history, then maybe these jokes are going to go right past you. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bob's memory pages. We've got to go over here and we collect the pages. Uh, you earn memory pages by meeting missing characters, and they're awarded for completing quests, defeating enemies, etc., etc. So what you want to do is you want to collect this, uh, these little page floaty things, and you'll be you'll be better off. So, anyway, if you see any kind of boxes, you can indeed just chuck uh, chuck the little Y button and slice them open in order to find these little in-game currency which is going to be those little pages there. So, pretty exciting. See him, pick him up wherever you can. All right, so we'll also notice that there is indeed um, platforming elements to the game. So, you definitely don't want to die and fall into a bottomless pit. Oh my gosh. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon about that. And you'll also notice areas where you may have to come back to. Like, there's a treasure chest right there, but I can't go in a single file line yet because I don't have that ability. So, it'll be fun. Whoa! Oh, yeah, exactly just like that. Okay, I should have looked before I leapt. So that's what happens when you die. That's the dying animation. So, you have... Whenever you die, you, you lose a little bit of your heart. And then you get teleported back to like a new safe so uh, safe zone. So that's kind of great. And then you'll see different areas that have like a sword. And since we don't have said power up, we can't really get past that. But once we get said power up, we can actually come back to the area and see what we've kind of missed. So that kind of concept is definitely uh, prevalent in this game. And then now we can see how often do you see a video game where Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz is yielding an axe and slicing the heads off of orcs. I don't think you see that anywhere. Only here. GG's. Get me out of here. Ooh, never mind. I'm taking that. Okay, so got a bunch of pages. Got our health back, which is fine. We're not really losing health. That's not really an issue in the very beginning of this game. But I want to get to some really cool parts where you can see really what the gimmick of this game is all about. And the gimmick of the game is more along the lines of the formations that you put your different characters into. You could learn a single line formation. You can learn a vertical formation. You can... Um, all the different characters have different abilities that you can unlock just by playing through the story. 
Oh, uh, it's really great. Dracula sprouts wings and gives you a double jump. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that happen, so... Yeah, definitely play along if you guys are so inclined to pick this up on PC, PlayStation 4, and of course Nintendo Switch, so... I'm curious if they un unlock, like, a run, because, like, this is, um, these little guys are painfully slow. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're carrying two people on your backs, how fast can you go, right? So you gotta think of it like that. Alright, who do you think that is? So you notice over here that here's some sort of electrical thing. We can't mess around with it until we get a new partner, and then that'll open up the door. So here we go. It's Don Quixote. All right, come on then, you beastly beast. I'll run you through with my lance while e while emulating the noises of the tiger. Rar. Hi, right, Don. Uh, look, you're mistaken. Again, it's just a book, a weird floating book, I admit. Ah, oh, I just ate someone, an English monarch just like you. Uh, but this one was a queen. I saw it with my own two eyes. Okay, so it ate a queen. Ah, uh, that's not good. Sounds like Queen Victoria. She's a feisty old bird and would be a great asset to the brigade. We need to find her. Okay, it's a dead end, but it's not the end. So this is a thematic book. Now, whenever you see one of these guys, you're going to jump into it, and it'll allow you to go into another part of the world. Obviously, this is where we have to go, because we don't have the person that's going to light up that little switch in order to keep us going. So we need to jump inside this book and kind of explore around here to see what's going on. So, yeah, pretty fun. <clears throat> Bookbound Brigade. What will we find inside here? I don't know. All right. So now we're inside here. This is the library. All right. The library holds a whole bunch of things. This is Sun Wukong. Remember the monkey we talked about earlier. That it's like the strongest monkey in the world. Oh, whoa. My head is spinning like a fly in a cup of tea. And Dorothy's here. I should be used to traveling by whirlwind by now. Ha ha ha. Get it? It's like all these inside jokes, like if you know the, the literary characters, you're like, ah, that's right, you know, you're not in Kansas anymore, kind of a deal. Alright, so noble quests are here. Uh, whenever you rescue missing characters, they'll assign you quests. Okay, so you can earn Bob pages if you do these quests. So here goes a quest from Joan of Arc. Oh, it's you again, Joan. How's it going? Not too hot for you? Mind you, you'll be used to that. Lol. <laughs> oh, very funny, not. You do know I'm the maid of Orleans. I thought you were made of matches the way you went up. Ha ha, <laughs> come on. Yo, these zingers on her, man. Just find my suit of armor, please. I'd sent it away to be flame-proofed and it got lost on the way, so annoying. So one of the quests right now is definitely going to be uh, finding Joan of Arc's uh, like armor. I don't, I don't honestly know where it is, but you're gonna find it. And then you bring it back to her and you can earn some Bob pages. So anyway, we're gonna be moving on. And then right over here, Don Quixote is here. Uh, literary Amigos, my latest noble quest is to uh, find his lands. Okay, got it. Remember when you attacked those windmills thinking they were giants? I was just having a laugh, Arth. So he's looking for his lands. We got to go find his lands. That's going to be one of the two characters that we're going to be finding. And then we're just going to move on and see exactly where we can go from here. Okay, so this is the main hall of the library. It's the Prologue Hall. You'll notice the thematic book protected by magical shields. Pretty great. Okay, so Dark Literary Magic afoot here. So this is kind of like the realm area. If you guys have played Metroid games before, you guys know this kind of like centralized hub where you can pick and choose different areas. And depending on what's in the areas, you're going to get different power-ups that you can use in other areas, which is really fun. So a lot of backtracking and a lot of things that you can do. Um, in order to just keep it going. So you have to somehow eliminate those four barriers and then you could go inside that book. I've never done that before yet. Like the game just came out today, so I, I haven't gotten a chance yet. But I'm pretty sure that you guys can do it um, in your playthroughs whenever you guys are playing, so. All right, so we're gonna go in this hall right over this way and we are going to go to a brand new area, which is right over here. Let's take a look. All right, slicing this up, give me that. Okay, so here goes another book. We're going to jump into this one, and this one is going to be the the shore. So we're going to go to the shore, and the shore is going to be, like, I don't, know, I don't really know how to explain it. It's going to be a shore. <laughs> and this is kind of, like, uh, how far I've gotten in, like, some off-screen play. So this one's going to be some pretty, pretty interesting stuff to see, like, what's inside, what kind of power-ups are going to be inside the shore that we can take out of the shore and bring it to another area. 
So anyway, here we go. So out of all five characters, who is your favorite character? Let me know in the comments. Emotes only. Oh, dude, emotes only. You could do a monkey emote. You could do a bow and arrow emote. I think you could do a glass slipper emote. I think you could do a Dracula emote, can't you? All right, this is the fabled Portlands on the shores of the Litra Sea. Every tale uh, of the sea is housed here. A place of cutthroat pirates and salty sea dogs. Oh, I wish they, they could stop saying that. Okay, the best sea stories uh, beginning in the Portlands. I've sailed the Litra Sea myself. All right, Count Dracula. Fair spooks in this place. I don't mind telling you. Oh, my. Okay, that is getting annoying. Got you. Sun Wukong. Excellent. All right, so everyone's bickering. I just want to show you as far as I can get. So there is a glass, like a ruby slipper. Okay, that's pretty great. Uh, I see um, H. Fenton with the slipper here. What other emotes are available? I don't see anyone else using emotes. You guys awake? Or you guys just don't have favorites? It's all good. <laughs> just messing with that. You like the monkey? Okay, monkey's a good one. Okay, so now we've made it into the jungle. Watch out for the spikes. And who do we have here? None other than Long John Silver himself. R. Shiver Me Timbers of Vast Me Hardies. And other expected piratey uh, cod swallop sayings. Long John Silver, hello, Squire. How come you're here? How do, Arthur? We moored the ship off this mysterious island and the crew went off to search for buried treasure as they invariably do. As soon as they set foot on the shore, these horrible fishmen things attacked and I wanted to make fish and chips for them, but there was too many of the scaly blackguards. Have you seen Queen Victoria anywhere? We'd like to recruit her into our brigade. Afraid not, me hearties. I have something else I could help you in your noble quest. The double jump technique. All right, so this is the double jump. Uh, where Dracula takes the lead. All you have to do is press the B button again, and then he'll spread his cape, and you can do that. So here we go. See you in the library. So now we got the brand new skill, which is a double jump, which will help us backtrack a little bit more in order to get pretty cool stuff. Like, I was able to backtrack over here where I couldn't before and get so many pages for Bob. And double jump is so helpful. Like, you have no idea. Having the ability to just double jump now, now you can reach new heights in order to access more areas. So remember that little main hall where the library was? That is, there's so many different areas that you're going to need to look out for. And maybe you can use the double jump to make yourself, um, you know, even more advancing the story. Don't ask me how I knew that. <laughs> There's a little puzzle there. There is your puzzle elements of the game. Queen Victoria's here. All right, Queen Victoria. About bleeding time you found me, you big girl's blouses. I gotta punch your lights out. Okay, calm down, Vicky. We need you to help uh, find Bob. You in or what? Oh, go on then. I'm sick of sitting around. I sent the Black Corsair to investigate those fishmen things, but the great Ninny hasn't returned. Come on, let's go kick some bottom. Okay, so now we've got six of these guys. We've got six in the brigade right now. We're, we're pretty pretty packed. Okay, which one? Uh, which way are we going? So now Queen Victoria is going to give us the new column formation, which is more along the lines of the gimmick of this game, which is really unique. So anyway, uh, press L and Y together, uh, and press L and X together in order to do some, um, some stuff. Okay, so anyway, you can see over here that if you press L and X, you're going to um, be able to go up really high. And if you press L and Y, you're going to shrink back down. So that's great. So this formation is going to help us out with puzzle solving elements in the near future because there's just so many things that you have to do with the single uh, formation. So you notice over here that there's like those little, little pegs. You can't fit all six people on the little peg unless you actually go super tall like this. So that's the gimmick with that. So right now, I don't think we would have made that. But you'll notice that like Dorothy is like holding the, the blunt of like all these characters. Like how in the world are you carrying all of that? But it's okay, Dorothy's super strong. Like I would totally expect the monkey to be able to carry all these people. Cause he can hold up, he's got the power to hold up two mountains. All right? <laughs> He's got the power to hold two celestial mountains. 
Alright, anyway. Let's go back. Alright, so getting some hearts. We don't necessarily need the hearts right now because there's really no combat. And I'm not losing this platforming elements because we know how to play platforming games. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this. And then there's something that we have to do backtracking in order to get that. So we don't know yet, but you can take a look at your map and it'll show you that stuff. And you can move down over there too, but this is going to be the fun part. Okay, Dorothy Gale says, oh my, that big bad shark doesn't look friendly at all. You're so perceptive. Uh, we all know the bigger the monster, the harder they fight in games. Any piece of advice, narrator? Ah, good point indeed. Okay, so we need the column cannon, which is a new mechanic right now. So do the column formation, and then hold up and Y repeatedly to juggle small enemies up, enemies up in the air and shoot them like bullets. Which is really interesting. So, like, now it's not only do we just grow up really tall, but we can just pick up these dudes. And we can launch them. And we can launch them over this, like, spiked sword. And we're just going to hit that guy and destroy him. Like, how cool is that? Unique. Definitely unique. It's definitely for, like, puzzle solving, too. Because, like, oh, yeah, I forgot that I can do this technique with my vertical team. Oh, yo, what is your problem? Okay, so it's four minions in order to knock out, um, in order to knock out the big boy. <laughs> I think that's my favorite sound effect. I think that's Dorothy doing that too. Get out of here, you fish. <laughs> okay, oh, what do we have here? If it isn't Captain Jack Sparrow. I mean, <laughs> the Black Corsair. Oh, sorry, Your Majesty, I got lost. Uh, you flipping, uh, you got flipping well lost. <clears throat> You're a pirate. Okay, so his crew... Uh, it's not far from here in a spooky abandoned building that's uh, reached through a secret underground passage. However, I hear they've been turned into fish monsters. Abandoned building, secret passages, fish monsters. Uh, why can't anything be straightforward? My life. Alright, so right now, uh, we found this dude and we gotta go find out what's going on. So, yeah, pretty, pretty puzzle solvy. And uh, I wanted to get through as much of this content as possible, so if I'm kind of skipping some of the narrations, then don't worry, you can read up on the narrations, um, you know, on your own playthrough. But I want to see how far we can get within the, uh, the allotted time here. Uh. Oh my gosh, help me. Oh, I got stuck right there. Okay, anyway. So little platform elements. Now there's two paths that you can go this way. You can go to the, uh, the top path or the bottom path. And top path will net you a new character. Bottom path will net you the way to go. So let's go take a look and see this. All right, now here comes the puzzle part, right? Okay, this must be the secret underground passage mentioned by the Black Corsair. Huh, none of the underground caves look uh, a lot more mysterious today. All right. Okay, so we are inside the cave. Now we got to find the underground passage within here. So we're going to press that switch on top there. We're going to shrink down. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, platforming. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. First try, baby. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. All right, this I will not get on my first try. Guaranteed. I will not get this on my first try, but we're going to try anyway. All right, check this out. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. All right, so here we go. Stop wiggling! Oh my gosh, I knew it was going to happen. Dead. Oh my lord. Yo, Jared Watson, what's up? Thanks so much for coming. <laughs> Dead. I'm so good at this game, guys. This part, though, is like really hard. Oh. oh, oh. So 
So there's little notches on the ground that kind of show you where to stand, which is nice. Ah! This part is so hard, mind you. Look, this is the last part. I just need to do this. What is my life right now? Oh my gosh. Oh! Mm! <laughs> I don't want to die. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I don't know, man. See, like, you get a little wiggly, dude. You get a little wiggly, and there is no invincibility frames. There's no... Um, every mistake is your own. This is the intense part of the game. Huh. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to do this within the 30 minutes that I have allotted over here. Five minutes, a good section of this game is going to be tr me trying to do this part. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't, like, shotgun the character. You have to, like, slightly, subtly hold forward. Or else you're going to be on, like, wiggling totem pole. And then wiggling totem pole, man, they will get hit. Their hurt boxes are like legit. Ooh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Alright, come on. We're making it. Come on, monkey. That's Sun Wukong we're talking about. That's not any monkey, guys. Oh my gosh. No way! Yeah! Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. Oh my gosh, that took way too long. <laughs> my bad, guys. Oh my gosh. Give me some of those hearts, thank you very much. Let's move on. What in the world is happening out here? Excuse me? Oh, I don't... Do I have this power-up? No, I don't have the monkey grappling power up. Oh no, how do I get it? That's a new thing, right? Like, I don't have it, but I know that you can do that. Like, okay, so if you press the pause menu, and I love this menu, by the way. They did an amazing job with the UI on this. Um, you can see what power-ups the different characters have and how you go about unlocking them and what it does. So this one is find someone who could teach you the skill and you could do hang and swing. Where you can like grab the entire like group of them and you can swing all the way across. And then there's just so many other things that you can get. Find someone to teach you the skill where you can be like a wheel and you can spin in the level. There's just so so much like cool things that you can do. That 30 minutes of a preview is just not it's not enough to show you what the heck this game's all about, which is um, is very interesting. But I want you guys to download the game and play along. So you can see all the different abilities. All right, what are we doing? Oh gosh. Ew, they're stinky. What is this thing? Yeah, these guys are strong. Stink bugs? What do you think this thing is? Is this supposed to be some sort of monster? that I should know about. All I know is he's taking a lot of my health. Oh my gosh, help me. I think I might lose. I think I might lose! Don't die. Oh my gosh, like when I'm... Dude, I'm dead. I'm so dead. These little turds. Get over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you want some? Come here. Get this guy in the corner. Yeah, yeah, get him, guys. All right, oh my god. Whoa, there's more! Ew! Oh my gosh. I don't like him. 
Okay, so being totem is not helping against this guy. And every time I go near him, he just like makes this little stink cloud. And I'm dead! The next like the next hit I take be in a cloud, I'm done. I don't have any projectiles either. Oh so scary, so scary. I was a little careless about the minions earlier. But his pattern seems to be like blowing the gas and then running away from us. Oh, I just, I straight died. I straight died. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to try this battle one more time and see if I could beat the battle. Um, but uh, that'll probably be the end of the live stream. No way. Yeah, I can't be vertical against these guys. I just lost a quarter of my health because of these turds. Are you kidding me? There's no way! Dude, that's half my health gone with these little turds. Half, more than half my health. No way. <laughs> Maybe I'm too, like, too under-leveled for this part of the game. But I just straight died against this turd. And I gotta go beat up another turd without taking any damage from these turds. I was thinking of, like, throwing this guy across and doing that kind of damage, but no way. I was very careless with my health. And I have like one hit left before I die, so it's not happening. <laughs> There's no way. At least not right now. I gotta find some sort of gimmick in order to knock out this guy. But, like, trust me, I would totally... I'm gonna try it last try. Last try, I promise. I know I can do it. It's just, I have to jump over the cloud of gas. And then I have to land where he's at. Because he can't, he can't expel out two clouds of gas. So that's when he's vulnerable. Oh my lord, it's so hard! <laughs> How do you do this? Corner him, right? Maybe corner them? Okay, watch, I'm gonna corner him right now. Yeah, you're not getting past this halfway point, guys. Come here. Yeah, I get over here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're not getting past here. But he does, though. Okay, I have half my health. I can do this. No, I can't. Right here. No! Oh! Kevin, what's up, dude? Hey, thanks so much. There's, there has to, I have to have like a power up that allows me to like inhale noxious gases or something, because this is really ridiculous, guy. I need to, and I need to KO, oh my gosh! Okay, I got a little bit of hearts back from that, which is decent. Chop them, boys! Get back here. <laughs> Get back here! Hearts, baby. Dead. So dead. Oh, dead. Oof! Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I think I, I need to explore around and maybe get more health, but it's too tough for me right here. And that's the thing about, like, Metroidvania games, is that you will, 
you'll come across a part where maybe it's just too hard for you to go through. So maybe backtrack a little bit more, try a different area in the main library, and who knows, maybe you'll find some new power-ups. But what I do want to go through is give you guys a quick rundown of what other kind of power-ups you can get, at least available from right now, so you guys get an understanding of what the game's uh, like. So anyway, this one is called the Testudo skill, which is going to be standing, when in formation, press uh, uh, left, or like the left stick down in A, and then he like has like an invincibility thing. So maybe I can use that in order to protect myself against the gas. So you can get that one. Um, King Arthur can get the dash skill. Uh, and then they can pretty much dash through, which is pretty interesting. So that's great. You can use those skills. Count Dracula has another one, which is uh, fly and glide. So you can see over there, you can like glide on over and reach really, really far crevices. Uh, let's see. Robin Hood has Merman Song. Oh, that's interesting. So what it does is like he starts singing and it stuns all the enemies on screen. Oh, that would have been so easy against those little gas guys, right? Uh, and then he also has what? Wall jump? Oh, no way. Yo, that's so cool looking. When you're in the wheel formation, press the B button as you hit a wall to do a wall jump. Oh, that's actually really cool. Dorothy has magic Stella activation. Uh-huh, you press that. Oh, so it activates some sort of portal. That's interesting. Uh, right over here is teleportation skill. Oh, dude, you do like a invincibility dash through things? So you phase through like a couple squares in front of you? That's really awesome. Uh, Sun Wukong right over here has the hang swing. We've kind of already seen that. And what else do we have? We've got the berserker skill. Uh, when you're in a standard formation, you can go berserk mode and just destroy stuff. All right, so we need that too, right? And then, what is this? Queen Elizabeth, right? Has the wheel formation, which is the spin. So you can break through certain walls. And then what else is this? Push and pull. So you can push and pull different puzzle op objects. So that's great. And then there's two characters, which we don't even know who they are, right? We don't even know who those extra characters are. And you get even more skills as you unlock even more of these pages. So if I really wanted to, I can get like health plus or something like that. Increase the amount of life available. You can do increasing the power available. So there's like, there's so many different power ups that you could use with the pages that you're picking up. And I've got 1760, so I can buy any one of these, which is also a really cool idea. So anyway, guys, that is going to be our quick preview of this game. I, I liked it a lot, Book, Brown, Book Bound Brigade. Seems really interesting. There's a lot of uh, RPG elements to it. I love the, the Metroidvania aspect of it. I think that the writing is very top notch. And yeah, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it right now really quick. Uh, there's different tutorials that you guys can look up to. And then there's this, yeah, hit it. All right, guys. Yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick preview of the game. You guys can pick it up on Nintendo Switch eShop as of right now. It's the release day for it. So super excited to see what you guys have to do and how far can you guys get in the game? You guys gonna beat it in day one? I think some of you guys might. All right, here we go. Again, Bookbound Brigade. Check it out on Nintendo Switch, available right now. You guys can get it. At the time of recording, it's $19.99. So pretty great for an eShop title in case you guys like those kinds of games. And look, there's even a dragon somewhere, and I didn't even get a chance to show you the dragon. But anyway, it's the beginning of the game, so it kind of went from there. So thanks for coming. That will be it for our live stream. Shoutouts again to our friends over at In Intragames and Digital Tales for providing, uh, providing us a copy of this game to play for you guys. I can't wait to read all of your comments, and we will see you on the next preview. Take care. Thanks for watching.